class 12. Uh, so we are done with section C, first chapter. Now we have come to the last chapter of section C, chapter 8, that is international relations and the environment. So as you know, every section is compulsory. You have to attempt questions from A, B and C. So we are done with the four chapters of A, the three chapters of section B, and we had two chapters in section C, chapter 7. Uh, I discussed each and every uh, topic with you in detail. Now today we will begin with the first topic of chapter 8, that is international relations and the environment. And the very first topic that you see in your text is a case study on Amazonia, the forest Amazonia. Last year also you know what happened in Brazil about the forest fire and the damages that were caused, uh, caused because of the fire. I made you do a project report on that particular disaster. So we will be studying case study on Amazonia and why we are losing this forest cover. And also we will try to understand what are the mitigation measures for this particular loss that is occurring all over the world. So first and foremost, when we study, you have to understand that this particular forest range that we are talking of is not confined to one country. This particular forest Amazonia is not confined to one country but it is spread across eight nations. So I have written down the eight nations, it's not given in your textbook uh, but you need to know this class that it is uh, spread across eight nations that is Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname and French Guiana. So this eight nations, the entire forest range is uh, covered and it is providing immense benefits not only to the local countries but to the global climate. There is a huge effect on the global climate which is controlled by Amazonia. So today we will try to understand what are the reasons behind disaster, destruction, logging of this forest cover in various countries, why they are being cut down at such an alarming rate and uh, what is the government of various countries doing in order to mitigate this particular problem. Now, first we will under, try to understand, as all of you know the significance that forests bring to mankind, uh, basically Amazonian forest, they are a rich source of biodiversity. Almost half the world's biodiversity, flora and fauna, is found in the Amazonian forest. So, this is one prime reason why, why this uh, needs to be conserved. Then it is home to almost half the species of fauna. Half the animal species of the world, they survive in the Amazonian forest, right? All the plants and animals, the world's plants and animals, important, significant, uh, many significant plants and animals whose value also has not been assigned. Even those important plants and animals are found in this particular forest. Then it satisfies the demand for fuel, water, it controls the global climate, it controls global erosion problems and much more. The entire world's climate is controlled and managed. Rainfall is managed with the Amazonian forest. Right? So, we will try to understand uh, this case study, you will have to understand what are the reasons behind destruction in various countries. So number one, the prime reason why this particular forest cover is being destroyed is because the population is rising. So for housing facilities, especially in countries like Peru where the population is exploding, People are removing the forest cover so that the housing demands of the people can be met with. So uh, different countries have different reasons why they are 
destroying the forest cover. So when we talk of Peru, it is for housing purposes because the population is very very high, right? Then the next lucrative business is that of cattle ranching. People rear a lot of cattle, especially in the South American countries. Beef export has become a very big business, right? So when people rear lakhs and lakhs of cattle and they leave them loose into the forest areas, that leads to destruction of the forest, right? So cattle ranching is basically popular in the South American countries. There is uh, transport, especially in Brazil. For transportation, for construction of roads and highways, the major part of the Amazonian forest is destroyed in Brazil, right? Then natural resources, as I told you, the Amazonian forest is very, very rich in natural resources because half the world's biodiversity is lying within this forest. So people destroy the forest for timber, for minerals, for oil, major deforestation takes place because people want to extract the minerals from under the earth. So when we carry out mining activities, you need to clear a vast area of the forest so that you can extract the ores that are there inside the earth. So that is another reason why we are losing this important forest cover. And then lastly, timber. Timber is used for so many functions as we all know. So extraction of timber, especially the modern extraction methods that we have, that is the mechanized mode of logging, has made it so easy to clear the forest cover. So these are some of the reasons in various countries, be it transport, be it the growth of population, cattle ranching, construction, timber, extraction of resources, all these has led to almost half the Amazonian forest being disappearing from the earth, right? So now, now the governments of countries are very, very worried because the global climate has started changing and especially what happened last year in Brazil, the kind of forest fire and the amount of animals and natural resources that we lost, the amount of pollution and disaster that it brought. Now we are trying to see what mitigation measures can be adopted so that we can prevent and we can save the remaining part of the forest in the eight countries, right? So some mitigation measures that have been adopted by the governments of various countries to save Amazonia, number one, what the government has told the people is they have allowed them to tap rubber. Uh, we are trying to provide some kind of employment opportunity to the people so that they don't navigate the forest and destroy the forest. So rubber tapping has come as a very beneficial tool where the trees don't need to be cut down. You don't need to cut down the tree. People can extract rubber and they can sell the rubber and they can earn money. So this involves saving the trees in the forest and also a source of income for the people. Then the next is palm trees. Lots of palm trees are found in the Amazonian forest. So what the government has told the people about palm fruits and palm hearts. What is made? Many of you must be knowing. Wine is made from the fruits of palm trees and definitely for this particular purpose you need to cut down the trees. The trees have to be cut down. But what we have to understand here is palm trees regenerate very quickly. They are fast growing trees. So, uh, so they do not cause so much of disaster even if the mature trees are cut down for the fruits and when wine is made it is very economic because it is sold at a very, very high price. So the people, this is the second source of sustenance for the people living in the Amazonian basin. Then the third point is the government has allowed them to extract nuts, fruits, spices. There are lots of 
uh, important spices which are found in the Amazonian forest. So what the people have been told is extract the fruits, the nuts, the spices and then they can make money out of it instead of destroying the forest cover. Then uh, pharmaceutical industry. The government has identified almost 650 species of plants from where drugs can be obtained, medicines can be obtained and very very significant medicines can be obtained. So what the people are now doing is they are harnessing the 650 plant species, taking them and then taking them to the industries, pharmaceutical industries where we are converting them to medicines and that is that has become another lucrative business in the Amazonian region. So this has become another source of sustenance for the people who are actually destroyers of the forest. Then uh, the government is also emphasizing on ecotourism. Uh, I don't think I need to explain ecotourism to you. We have done this in chapter 3. We have covered this in class 11. We have done this in class 10. Ecotourism where we try to attract tourists to watch the beauty of nature. So forest areas have always been beautiful. So uh, the government has given more and more emphasis to ecotourism so that the beauty of the Amazon region, the forest cover can be maintained bird watching, trekking, all these are a part of ecotourism. So we all like to venture uh, places which are naturally beautiful. So in the Amazonian region, the governments of various countries, the governments of eight countries, they have adopted ecotourism as a means to prevent the destruction of the forest region. And the last one, uh, when the this Amazonian re uh, region, there are lots and lots of rivers passing and these rivers have lots of fishes. So fishery has become another business for the people where the government has allowed them to sustainably harvest the fishes and make their earning out of it. So when we adopt these mitigation measures, it in no way destroys the Amazonian forest region. The people are happy because they are getting a source of sustenance, they are getting money and at the same time because of ecotourism ventures, uh, they are uh, getting good business opportunities and also we are being able to save the most important forest region of the world which is responsible for the global climatic condition. So this is one case study. We have four case studies. So the next case study on ivory, uh, I will be discussing with you in the next lecture. Thank you class.